Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the gasket for your French door refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now when changing this gasket, we're going to begin by opening up the doors. If you're simply changing the one on the right hand door, all we need to do is to pull that gasket out of the channel on that inner liner. Remove it all the way around, clean that channel up, and we can press the new one in place. Now if we're doing the left hand door gasket, we have the mullion that we need to deal with as well. You're not able to pull that gasket away because there's not enough space in there. But if we flip that mullion open, we'll expose two screws. Now your model may have some caps over top of those screws, simply pop those off. And then using a number two Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove those two screws, and then we'll press up on both the bottom and top hinge at the same time, and release that center hinge, and then we can lift that mullion away. And once we do that, you'll need to support it somehow or another. There is a wire harness attached that can handle that weight for a short amount of time, but you'll want to secure it while we remove the gasket. So we'll begin by removing the caps and then the two screws. Now just press up on both the bottom and upper hinge. They're just wedged onto two retaining blocks that are attached to the side of that liner. And once they clear that wedge, you can pivot that center hinge out. Keep in mind that there is a wire harness attached. So you either have somebody support that while you remove the gasket or secure it through one of these shelf bins to hold it in place. Now with the hinges removed and the mullion pulled away, you note that there is a wire harness connector tucked inside there. We simply need to pull that out far enough. So just grasp the end of the harness connector that attaches to the mullion. Press down on that until it unlocks. And then we'll just set that aside. And next we'll grasp the gasket in any corner. And then just pull it away from the inner door panel. We can discard the old one. Now next we'll inspect that little channel that the gasket fits into and make sure it's clear of any debris. If need be, remove the bottom shelf so that you can get a good view across the bottom and clean up that area if required. And once we've done that, we can place our new gasket on. Now when installing the new gasket, just make sure that the edge that has the two little extruded flaps on it fits on the outer side. So simply line it up, and then we're going to press that arrowhead shaped portion of the gasket into that channel. Just continue to work the way all the way around that door. Make sure it's pressed firmly into place. Now once you have that gasket pressed firmly into place, we'll then go around the whole perimeter of that and just check carefully on that outer lip to make sure that it lies flush up against the metal door. And if you find any areas that are tucked in, simply pull them back out of that channel 
and then press it back into place, making sure that lay is nice and flat. Again, pay particular care in the corners. Now, once we have the gasket installed, we're now ready to put that center molly back on. We'll begin by reconnecting that wire harness. Make sure the two halves of the connectors are pushed together nice and tight and that the locking tab engages. And then we'll tuck the excess of that harness into the opening in the door liner. And then we'll line up the openings on the back of the top and bottom hinge over those wedges that are located on the door liner. With the center hinge, make sure the hook fits down into that opening. And once we have all three lined up, simply press down on that assembly. Push it down until both the bottom and top hinge bottom out. Make sure that the harness is not bound up in that opening in the center hinge. The center hinge should lie flat against the liner. Make sure the screw holes line up without any binding. And then secure it with the two screws. Just check the operation of that molly and make sure it snaps open and closed easily. Now with it in a closed position, close up that door and your repair is complete.